All right, welcome back to another episode. We're gonna enter this Ashwinder tent here, Hogwarts Legacy, Ravenclaw, doing some uh, uh, curses and shit. Yeah, I didn't grab a Coca Cola. <laughs> An Ashwinder duelist while they're casting Reducto, launch a transformed enemy with the Pulso. Alright, um, I'm gonna pause the episode and be right back. Alright, we back. I didn't do anything, I just went and got a Coca Cola. Slice an Ashwinder duelist while they're casting Reducto and launch a transformed enemy with the Pulso. So. That one and that one. I actually need to put this into there. Quiet, are you? Revelio. There was the loot down here. I really didn't need to go get that, but I got it anyway. What? You'll regret this for the rest of your shit! that again shall we I thought this was recommended level 16 <laughs> Jesus and uh, that went up really quick there with a the level 31 enemy Hmm. I did not expect this tent to be so large magic. on the inside. I mean, that'll be That's comfy. Your deed. 
if you don't cast the deck show. You know, I hear you screaming for help and all that, but also, I see loot, so, like, I'm gonna get the loot. Oh, yeah. someone help me? There's not much more loot, so, uh, I'll come help you. Archie. Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, no Rebellion. I'm so glad to see you. <sighs> we need to get this open. Alohomora. Level one lock. ta -da. So sorry, Archie. Thank you. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Taking Archie back home. Thinking about doing a modded Terraria series. Play a bit of modded Seems a pleasant Terraria. enough little place. Oh, Archie, you're here! Oh, oh you're safe. Mother? Oh, Mother? Father's friends are in danger. I heard the people who took me talking about them. Which friends, darling? Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. Mr. Filbert. And I think they also said Otto's name. Oh, I shall speak with them. You run inside. Yes, Mother. Well, that's going on. Let me head back to that. Change that back to that. Change this back to that. It looks cool. What is this? Yeah. That looks good, but that looks better. Oh, it's got that little flowy thing with it. But I like that. Hat. Go back to my cool looking leather sorcerer's hat. That's not it. There it is. Indigo sorcerer's hat. Talk with you. Your husband's. Just as he was. You've done enough. My husband. The last thing we need is that monster. He is already after it us. It may be too late for that. I'm afraid Harlow's already after us. Then you needn't anger him further. I assure you. I'm sorry again about your husband. Thank you. And I can never repay the two. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickel. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help. <laughs> I must learn more about Mr. Bickel's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know. Cool. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? Messi or Wes? What do you have for sale? 
What can I help you with today? You don't sell anything particularly interesting. Not as good. Not as good. I like that it gives you arrows to start off with so you don't have to worry about doing anything with them. So that's cool. I hope to see you again sometime. Who are you? I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Interesting. Anyway. Meet with Poppy. Jackdaw's tomb. Spot removal. Jackdaw's tomb is probably the best place to go to get to her. You know, I've only opened, like, half of the map so far. Like, not even that. I'm, like, 40 episodes in and I haven't even opened, like, half of the map. Whee. Wait, let's land. Okay, I can still summon you. Let's go! Whee. We I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. I, I have to see a creature go yeah, first But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. They'll understand. Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help. Enough! 
You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be... In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. Will do. This seems interesting. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal... What do Moonstones have to do with Snidget? And why was he so certain about where we could... Isn't Moonstone coming? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing Centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Right. I don't centaur know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a Centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave he mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> He's likely studied here. There we go. Alright, move this. Something like that. Drago or Dragon. Kind of damage. Oh, the hippogriff down. Can bring us Akia. Defender. Oh, what is this? Perhaps some poachers. Curses 
Funny homage. You'll regret crossing my path. Oh, there we go. This one is the most student. I'm going to cut this episode a bit shorter. Um, I'll figure out something to do before the next episode. And that's going to be it. Um, right now I'm going to head back to my room of requirement and do some stuff in between episodes. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Later.